Have you ever felt a strange sensation in your heart? A trembling in your hands? A weakness in your knees? And a tingling in your spine? Have you ever been so in love that you couldn't sleep, eat, or think straight? If you have, then you might relate to one of the most iconic songs of the 20th century. A song that captured the essence of rock and roll and the thrill of romance. A song that was written by a man who never met the singer, but whose words resonated with millions of fans. A song that was recorded by a legend who made it his own, and who changed the course of music history. The story behind this song is as fascinating as the song itself. It all started in 1956, when Otis Blackwell, a talented songwriter and singer, was working for Shalimar Music, a publishing company owned by Aaron Schroeder. Blackwell had already written some hits for other artists, such as Fever for Little Willie John and Don't Be Cruel for Elvis Presley. He was looking for another smash hit when he heard a phrase that caught his attention. According to Blackwell, he was sitting at the piano one day when Al Stanton, one of the owners of Shalimar Music, came in and said, I've got an idea for a song. Why don't you write a song about love experience? Blackwell asked him what it meant and Stanton said, you know, like when you have butterflies in your stomach. Blackwell liked the idea and started to work on it. He wrote the lyrics and the melody in about 20 minutes, using his own voice as a guide. He then made a demo recording of the song and sent it to Elvis Presley's manager, Colonel Tom Parker. Parker liked the song and gave it to Presley, who was looking for new material for his upcoming album. Presley loved the song and decided to record it at Radio Recorders in Hollywood on January 12, 1957. He was accompanied by his regular band members, Scotty Moore on guitar, Bill Black on bass, DJ Fontana on drums, and Dudley Brooks on piano. He also had the Jordan Ayers, a vocal quartet, as backup singers. Presley was so impressed by Blackwell's demo that he copied his vocal style on the song, as he had done before on Don't Be Cruel. He added his own flair and charisma to the performance, making the song sound fresh and exciting. He sang with passion and energy, expressing the emotions of a man who is head over heels in love. The song was an instant hit. It topped the Billboard Top 100 chart for eight weeks, becoming Presley's second longest-running number one single after Hound Dog. It also topped the Billboard R&B chart for four weeks and peaked at number one on the country chart as well. It sold over two million copies in the U.S. alone and became Presley's best-selling single of 1957. The song also had a huge impact on the culture and society of the time. It helped to popularize rock and roll as a genre and as a lifestyle. It inspired many young people to express themselves through music and dance. It also reflected the changing attitudes towards love and sexuality in the post-war era. It celebrated the joy of falling in love and being free from conventions and restrictions. The song has remained a classic ever since. It has been covered by many artists over the years, such as Paul McCartney, Billy Joel, Susie Quattro, Ry Coeur, Cliff Richard, and Cheap Trick. It has also been featured in many movies and TV shows, such as Forrest Gump, Lilo and Stitch, Happy Days, Reese Live, and Glee. It has even inspired a musical of the same name that uses Presley's songs as its soundtrack. A song that is none other than All Shook Up by Elvis Presley. His voice still resonates with millions of listeners who feel his emotion and energy every time they hear him sing All Shook Up. His performance still makes people want to dance and sing along with him. His song still makes people feel all shook up.